Hey, what's going on, guys? For those of you who care or who've been messaging me, uh, it's very sweet. I had no idea people actually cared what I was doing and why I was gone for so long. But, uh, well, now I kind of feel like I owe some of you an explanation. Yeah, the reason I stopped posting videos about a month, month and a half ago, Christ, is it almost two months? I moved from Austria to Ireland, so I now live in Ireland, and yeah, it's been crazy. I also spent some time back in Boston, visiting family and friends and that kind of stuff, and it all just kind of turned into a giant month of packing and moving and like setting up new bank accounts and all that crap that goes along with moving. And here I am, I'm finally back to a normal work schedule, things are going great. So uh, thanks for sticking with me through this long hiatus, and I promise I'm going to make some amazing videos for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, no, seriously, I, uh, I'm i more than happy to uh, take some suggestions for videos to make. Uh, the thing I'm interested in focusing on right now is I've been doing a ton of programming work, and uh, I think programming and scripting are incredibly valuable skills, and so I'm starting a programming sort of intro to scripting and programming series where I'll use Ruby as an example language just to teach the basic concepts, variables, control flow, data structures, that kind of stuff. And then I'll start a bash series so that you can script like a bunch of maniacs on any Unix system, really. So that's the plan right now. Again, thanks for sticking with me through the hiatus. And I'm, I'm, I was actually amazed to get messages uh, saying, hey, you're back. I had no idea anyone was waiting for me. It's beautiful. My basic plan is, um, you know, the course is shaping up nicely. Uh, the next big section, I think, after I cover some Ruby and programming stuff, or as I do that, uh, will be networking. I haven't covered any networking so far, and it's just like a critical skill for being a sysadmin. Uh, a couple of other interesting things happening. Uh, one, I've teamed up with some insanely smart people uh, that I'm proud to call friends, people I've worked with in the past, uh, like a programmer, a BSD guru, and uh, a guy puts together multi-million dollar Linux compute clusters for a living. We we're talking about you know my channel here and teaching people sysadmin skills and like what's actually necessary for real life and uh, how it sort of courses in school often just fails to prepare people. And we decided we'd start working on the actual problem of how do we take someone who's got you know, a basic computer knowledge and basic sysadmin knowledge and make them you know into someone who's a fire breathing sysadmin badass who has the the skills you like you know the modern skills you need. For, for doing this job and being competitive uh, and getting the cool work that's actually satisfying. I don't know, I, I feel like there's a way to do this and that's one of the reasons I, I make these videos is there is a way to learn this without spending four years and 50 or 100 grand on school. And there's a way that you can get into this gradually and learn the skills in your free time. And you know, if you're dedicated and you go deeper and you sort of use those skills to further yourself, you can make it happen. I mean, that's the whole premise that this course is sort of founded on. Yeah, so now we're sort of trying to solve the problem of how do we take someone who's got basic knowledge of how to run a Linux machine or what have you, and like, what, what are they really missing before they can be a, someone that I can use if he's on my team? We're at a big company doing something complicated and interesting. I, I tend not to be able to use the new guys because they don't know enough stuff yet, so they have to do very basic stuff for a long time. There seems to be this gap of knowledge, and that's what we're trying to eradicate. Anyway, it's a super early work in progress, um, but we've got some ideas. So basically, a slightly more advanced, higher level version of this course for people who are already comfortable with the basics. I'm sure that when there's some beta or something to look at, uh, I will post it here, get some comments from you guys. The other thing I'm thinking about doing that is more useful to everyone right now is a semi-regular weekly 10-minute video that sort of summarizes the things that I think are worth looking at that week or those two weeks. Stuff to learn or at least stuff that's important to discuss. I feel like tech news, maybe stuff that hasn't been covered so well, and mostly just tools, programming stuff, security news, that kind of thing. I don't want it to turn into like an hour and a half talk show. I know a lot of tech shows take that format, but I obviously don't have the time. So I'm thinking like 10 to 15 minutes. I've got some friends that I would love to get into these videos because they are super smart and have interesting things to say. Uh, we'll see if I can't convince them to occasionally come on. Yeah, but basically something that's just a, a video that kind of gives you a summary of interesting shit to look at that week. 
with links in the description so you can just kind of like cherry pick the bits that you're actually interested in instead of having to sit through an hour-long show. There you go. That's what I've been up to. That is what's going on. I'm always happy to hear feedback. Uh, now I can actually start responding to feedback again. Uh, sorry, my inbox has filled up. I'll try to get back to all of you that wrote with questions or problems and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you in these upcoming videos.